Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 49 of Be With Me in the book of 2 Corinthians. We're almost done with the book, and Paul is making his final argument. And here's what he wants to do. He wants to move the needle of their thoughts and their understandings, and dare I say, their behaviors with regards to their sexual purity, with regards to their zipper. And he gives them everything. He says, I am willing to be weak so that you do this area of your like of your life appropriately. I am willing to be weak for you. I'm using my weakness as a tool to help you change your actions and behaviors. So this is a book of persuasion. There's The only reason he wrote it was to change their hearts and minds. I pray that you're in a fellowship today, that you're close enough to a pastor and to other people as you see their influence over your life and witness the change in their behaviors. So the problem here is mentioned in chapter 12, verse 21, is that there's people there that have not mourned over their sin. They've not mourned over their sexual impurity, their immorality, and their sensuality. Um, And what he's saying to them is, hey, it's not okay what you're doing with your eyes and your zipper. And it's a, a what I have to do is offensive You'll certainly feel the, the, the offense of it, but it's life-saving. So what he's going to do is, he's, it, I'm using the Harry Potter invisi- invisibility cloak analogy here today, is I'm going to put on the cloak of weakness, uh, uh, the cloak over my power, and show you my weakness so that you'll listen. I'm going to put on the invisibility cloak over my authority so that you'll see my my meekness. I'm going to put the uh, uh, invisibility cloak over my boldness so that you'll see my humility. I'm going to put my invisibility cloak over my severity so you'll see my gentleness. So you say, in ultimately, I'm going to try to come to you with weakness and meekness and humility and gentleness. Why? Because he's a namby-pamby? No, because I want you to listen. I want you to obey. I want you to change. Uh, I recommend re-listening to episode 33 uh, of this season, season number 11, where it's the Cesar Milan story about the gentleness of approaching this wild dog. I, Paul, entreat you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, I who am humble but bold when I am away. So here it is. This is this is his final argument here. It's in chapter 13. I'm going to start with verse 4. He's going to talk about God, and he's going to do this weakness-power uh, dichotomy. For he was crucified in weakness, but lived by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but in dealing with you, we will live with him by the power of God. And then the two verses we did yesterday about examining yourself, testing yourself, see if if you're in the faith. This is verse 5 and 6. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Or do you not realize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to meet the test, I hope you will find out that we have not failed the test. And then he talks about his purpose here in verse 7. But we pray to God that you may not do wrong. Not that we may appear to have met the test, but that but that you may do what is right, though we may have seemed to have failed. What he's, he's saying here is, I want to change your behavior. I don't want you to do wrong. I want you to do right. Verse 8, for we cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the truth. And then here he's back to the invisibility cloak. Verse 9, for we are glad when we are weak and you are strong. Your restoration is what we pray for. For this reason, I write these things while I'm away from you, that when I come, I may may not have to be severe in my use of the authority that the Lord has given me for building up and not for tearing down. So Paul is saying, I give you my humility so that you'd be restored. I give you my weakness so that you can be made strong. So Paul is saying, I want to build you up. I recognized however, that there is sin. So let's let, let's call truth the truth. And it's going to require repentance and it's going to require restoration. And please don't make me pull out the stick of authority. Now I have been given this use of authority by the Lord himself. He's given it to me and I am choosing 
not to use it. I am choosing like Christ did. So Christ had all this power that he laid down because people can listen to whispers a, a, a little bit better. The, but the point is, I still want you to change your behavior. I, I want you not to do wrong. I want you to do right. I want you to mourn and weep and repent over your sin. But I don't want to do it, hopefully, with the stick of authority. I'm going to try to do it with gentleness. So I will do anything. Paul is saying, I will do anything for you to change your mind. I will be weak so that you'll listen. I'll be humble so that perhaps you'll repent and mourn. Please don't require the severe use of authority. Uh, so he's making his final argument, which is please be pure. And how are we going to get there? I'd rather use the appropriate, or I'd, I'd rather, rather than use the appropriate use of the severe authority that I also carry, I'm willing to be meek for your upbuilding. I give you my weakness so that you can be strong. I give you my humility so that you can change. He says, I will give you whispers so that you will listen. Thanks for listening here today. Please be in a group of people that can do this for you and with you and pastors that do this. Find people that give you whispers so that you'll listen. Thanks for listening.